Addressing an audience of around a thousand guests, David Liddington reiterated his government's commitment to defending the interests of Gibraltar. I hope that delivering this message you know, never sounds boring because we must never take it for granted. But we need to make it clear again and again that the United Kingdom will never enter into arrangements under which the people of Gibraltar would pass under the sovereignty of another state against their wishes. Mr Liddington said he believed lobbying efforts by the UK were starting to pay off with regards to the border, with Spain taking remedial action. He emphasised Gibraltar's right not to be excluded from aviation legislation was a matter of EU law and said incursions were ultimately futile attempts to challenge British sovereignty. And it is a tribute to the entrepreneurial spirit of Gibraltar that despite these challenges, Gibraltar remains a successful economy. And I was struck during my visit by the energy and vitality of Gibraltar as a destination for trade. Whether we're looking at financial services or at bunkering or at tourism and hospitality, Gibraltar is open for business. And that too is what we are here to celebrate today. Mr Liddington went on to say the Rock had transformed itself from a military garrison to a modern, dynamic, entrepreneurial society. In his address, the Chief Minister read out a response from the Queen's Private Secretary to his request for Her Majesty to visit the Rock. Her Majesty the Queen thanks the government and people of Gibraltar for their loyal greetings and very best wishes. Her Majesty wishes to express her continuing support for the government and people of Gibraltar and hopes that all those assembled today at the Guildhall have an enjoyable event. So my friends, enjoy we must, but not without reflecting that our historic links are not the stuff just of long past anecdotes. Our links are as modern as they are historic. Fabian Picardo said the voice of Gibraltar is loud and clear but best amplified when working together with Britain on issues of mutual importance. Because it is certainly true that we are stronger together. That is why we are always ready to talk to all of our neighbours, Spain in particular, on all issues short of sovereignty. Together, Britain, Spain and Gibraltar can deliver to the Bay of Gibraltar from the highest unemployment levels in the Iberian Peninsula to an arc of prosperity that would deliver mutual benefits to all. He said Gibraltar was ready for trilateral dialogue and for parallel ad hoc talks if parameters can be agreed with Spain. Mr Picardo also outlined several recent economic and cultural developments in Gibraltar, the International Literary Festival, the licensing of the Stock Exchange and the creation of both a national bank and university. The reception was packed with guests, Gibraltarians and friends of Gibraltar, including 17 ambassadors. Among those on stage were the Minister for the Armed Forces, Marc Francois, and Deputy Mayor Cayenne Aldorino, as well as Sheriffs Andrew Palmley and Fiona Alder, hosting the reception on behalf of the Lord Mayor of London. The evening came to a close with a massed band spectacular, which saw the Royal Gibraltar Regiment Band and Corps of Drums and the Band of Her Majesty's Royal Marines Portsmouth perform a sunset ceremony. Perhaps one of the central themes of this evening has been continuity, a day for celebrating Gibraltar's history with the UK and with London, for raising awareness of the reality of the rock, economic, political and cultural, and for looking ahead to a united future. Christina Cortés, GBC News, London.